right there. I'm uh, 90 years old. She has congestive heart failure and it's a tricky thing to uh, handle. And if there is some change in any one of those things that needs to be handled right away. Well, good morning. The telehealth checks vitals, which is weight, my blood pressure and pulse, and pulse oximetry, which is also the oxygen level. Place the blood pressure cuff on your right arm. And those kind of indications within a matter of days can cre create CHF in a patient to be rehospitalized. After her last uh, illness in the hospital, I thought it was a good idea. It tells her what to do speaks to her like a person is right there. It's not a problem for her to do on her own. I think it's wonderful. This is a remote system. We put it in the patient's home and just it takes up a simple um, area like a regular scale and a small box on their desk, plugs into a regular outlet and a phone line and it transmits through their phone line over to our home health office. This information also goes to the physician. A lot of patients now are uh, in home alone and what this does is it watches their vitals while their nurses aren't coming that week or that day and they can do it on their own independently and watch for any trends. They usually call on the phone if there's something different. I see the telehealth going a long way in the future for keeping patients out of the hospital through technology. I like it. It's more convenient for me. I don't have to go out. Well, what this does is it gives them such confidence that they're part of their health care program. They're actually quite proactive and they're excited. They sometimes call the office and say, did you see that? I've lost five pounds or this medication's working. So we get a lot of positive feedback from this setup.